Thank you, Mayor and uh, Council. I'm uh, Larry Grant. Ayusak is my Musqueam name, and I come from the Musqueam First Nation, but I also lived part of my life here in Chinatown. I uh, lived here in the 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. I'm uh, half Chinese. My father is from China. And we've watched Chinatown grow up and down. It was very, very vibrant when we were young. The gambling joints were just hopping. And today we have the casino and it's the same problem. It was not, nothing to do about money. It's about a habit that you can't break. But uh, we have seen how vibrant Chinatown can be. And we know, and we know that it's not just the CPR that are the labor contractors. We had Chinese labor contractors that grew rich and also built private buildings here. They're very, very the same process. And it's something to watch the change from the 1940s to now where businesses have gone dead and we all have an idea why it's gone dead. The uh, second and third generation have moved somewhere else, become profitable businessmen somewhere else and have not reinvested in Chinatown. Uh, we have some today, but they still have single room only buildings and that does not build the vibrancy of Chinatown. So um, I'm just speaking in favor of the proposal, but what I want to add is I've been to China a couple of times, been to Hong Kong, and the city is basically all British, and it's all high rises, been to Shanghai, same thing. Yeah, the, uh, Hong Kong has the reputation as having the most high rises in the world, more than New York City. Been to Beijing, seen the differences there in the different structures and how it works together. Uh, been to Jungsan, seen that. Been to Semun, the village. I've been to several other heritage villages that are being protected. They want to protect those buildings in those villages very much as what is happening here. However, when you have a good look at those buildings, they don't have any Chinese characteristic to it. They're designed by European architects. Some of the largest buildings that I saw by some of the family members here that are opposed to the proposal designed by Roman architects. And they want to protect all of that. And also got to see the Sun Yat-sen Museum and got to read about him. Sun Yat-sen, the big man, Jung San, he had a dream, he had a vision. He took and went to medical school and he wanted better medical for the Chinese people, Western style. Wanted better education for the Chinese people, Western style. Wanted better transportation to connect the country, Western style. Transportation, education, medical, and homes, building, rebuilding the buildings. Sun Yat-sen himself had that vision. And that's something that we, I saw when I was in China. And to me, that's what's happening here. The Memorial Center, 
is that little curve, that little triangle in front of the garage that was there when we were kids across the road. What have we got that represents Chinatown? A parkade, a parkade that re replaced the gas works that was there originally. It, the, the gas works that supplied the city of Vancouver for the coal gas for the stoves and, and the coke process for the manufacturers. So that has changed already there. All the nightclubs are gone. All the acts that used to come here don't come here anymore. The businesses are dying because we don't have a diversity of income housed here in Chinatown. And that's what makes a vibrant community, the diversity of income. And that's what I see in the proposal that we have here tonight, that I know a lot of people are upset, and I probably would be too if I was living here, but I'm not. And I'm, not, I'm quite sure that many of the, the op opponents actually have not been in this country very long. I've only been here 80 years, and I'm not very, I'm, I'm a first generation half Chinese, so it's something to see all of this about community, intergenerational, family connection with that proposal with the 25 units and the community space in the, in the bottom and how they, they restructured the commercial space downstairs so that it represents uh, 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 the original Chinatown where the alleyways were actually places that you went into to reach the businesses, the Green Door Cafe and places like that and the gambling joints that were in back, never mind the brothels, but that's all part of that. So that I'm speaking in favor of the proposal and I'm only speaking from a historical point of view and how it's trying to bring together intergenerational, familial, and, and diversity in income. So that's... Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you.